afternoon. Thank you for inviting the Freedom Center here today. We are honored to join you in your just endeavors. Martin Luther King Jr. teaches us about a dialectical method to organize yourself and induce change in society. This self-transformation is how we develop our consciousness. It begins with a change in our conduct. Conduct is our created pattern of behavior. Greeting people with a smile on your face or opening the door for others is an example of kind conduct. This conduct can alter our behavior. Our behavior is made up of our conduct. If our conduct is self-centered and rude, then our character becomes self-centered and rude. If our conduct is kind and tender-hearted, then our character as well becomes kind and tender-hearted. We have the ability to choose our conduct and then alter our character and change our consciousness. See beyond what is right in front of you. We have this power within all of us. Our high character allows us to see even the tiniest of people and understand that everybody has a voice. Dr. King also teaches us about the internal and the external realms. The external realms is almost all the material that surrounds us. It is the computers that are on all of your desks and the phones that are in all of our pockets. The internal realm is one of serenity of spirit. It is our culture and our religion and our dance. Dr. King says, when our scientific means outpace that of our internal values, then we end up with guided missiles and misguided men. We must make sure that our hearts beat to the tune of humanity instead of beating to the tune of material. Let's all take the effort to be more conscious. Let's smile, especially when we do not want to, and become our nobler selves. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you all for recognizing the Martin Luther King Jr. Freedom Center. Supervisor Miley, Supervisor Carson, thank you for the love and support. We recognize and appreciate all the sacrifices that you and your family members have made so that you can represent and support the people of Alameda County. We all have power to create change. Power is the ability to achieve purpose. We must develop a clear and uncloudy understanding of our own purpose in life. Dr. King teaches that America is ill with what he calls the triplets of evil and injustice. They are racism, materialism, and militarism. For us, the people, to be an effective antidote to these injustices, we must develop the power to bring into being racial justice, equitable and meaningful economic conditions, and we must study war no more. The Freedom Center is dedicated to helping people understand their rights and duties in the political process, and to engage and to vote. The Freedom Center maintains four specific campaigns designed to strengthen democracy. One is to end childhood poverty. In California, one in five Californian children live in poverty. More than 130,000 homeless people live in California, and 7,000 of them are children. This is unacceptable. 
We work in partnerships to develop community police relationships that create cooperation and community involvement in keeping our community safe. We also organize and educate about the human rights to water. In California, more than a million people do not have safe drinking water. This is an urgent rural and urban environmental justice issue. The Freedom Center works with other organizations and agencies, with state legislatures to create programs and funding that bring safe, affordable drinking water to our communities. We produce classes and community educational programs throughout the year. We are the producers of the Barbara Lee and Ellie Hugh Harris Lecture Series. We also produce the annual six-week To Us, You Matter Civic Engagement Tour. Dr. King maintains that social change requires many variables, one of which is the development of transformed nonconformists. He means to be nonconforming to the commercialization of human relationships from entertainment to intimacy. He means to be nonconforming to the greed and hatred. In this way, we the people can do the backbreaking task of educating and arousing hundreds of thousands for sustained, disciplined work. Thank you.